Hi guys, ever wonder how to use your TT6A5? I'm going to show you how to use commander mode and some of the basic modes. Hi guys and welcome to the video, Darren here from Emotive Training. I'm going to show you some more of this TT6A5. I've been so impressed with this flash that I thought I'd show you just a little bit more. Now it's a very simple flash to use. And as a wedding photographer, that's just great news because you don't have a lot of time to be messing about, uh, finicking through menus, etc. And this is so easy to use, uh, and the UI is really, really clear. And um, that's definitely my favourite at the moment. So we're in TTL mode, and there we go. It's just a simple flash, a normal flash. Now I actually set that up with the speed at 1000 so that means that they needed high speed sync and it's, it's appeared here this little h just says that that was a high speed sync so ttl it's doing everything automatically uh, but we do need some control that's important because as a, again as a wedding photographer uh, we won't be messing about um setting up uh, manual for every single shot we do for the likes of the guests uh, having fun and uh, we want to capture what's going on we use ttl and we use the plus and minus button just to tailor that light to the light that's happening there and then so we don't have to do major adjustments just little tweaks so while we've got on top of the camera let's go through the other modes as well so if we press this button here it's m for manual uh, dead simple guys just plus and minus button and we can adjust it simply with the dial. So quick, so easy. So onto the next mode, guys. This is for multiple flashes. So we set this up so we can fire multiple flashes at once. I'll go into a bit more detail in another video because it's quite creative, um, but it's just not for this video. So guys, this flash we can turn into a commander flash, which means we can control another flash or flashes via this uh, flash alone. So how do we do that? To control this one on the stand, we go to the one on the right and we turn this over to the wireless section. And this is the screen that you want, guys. This is the commander mode. So from here, we can adjust the channel and the groupings. Let's turn on our flash that we want to control. And there we go. And now we want to put this into a slave mode. Here we go. So slave right there, channel one. Group A. Let's go back to our commander flash. Channel 1 says there. And we can control it by this button. And here we go. It's just a simple dial just to change what channel you want. There's 32 channels you can choose from, guys. And we're going to go to channel 1 and group. And we want to go to A because that's how this flash is set up. And go into mode. And this is TTL. From here, we're asking this flash to do the same as this flash because we have not set this flash to do anything else uh, so so we can still adjust the flash by going to group plus and minus we can use the flash compensation and we're asking the flash to fire with plus three channel one slave group a there we go so all we need to do is press the trigger and there you go it's now fired that one at plus three ttl so now then let's say we want to fire it at its minimum let's turn it into group again so here we go mode button and turn it to manual and as you see it's set at um, minimum power to change that it's the plus and minus again dead simple use the dial just to rotate and they give you all your settings so but we go with lowest on the left hand flash now the flash on on the right our commander flash we want to change to flash differently let's change it into full power so what we do is again group in the top one turn into manual plus and minus and we take it all the way to the top so that's now at one to one full power 
So you're going to see that the one on the left takes is very quick to recycle because it's on lowest power, and the one on the right is going to take a long time to recycle because it's on its highest setting. Hit set and go. And there you go, guys. It really is as simple as that to command the flash using another flash. Uh, you can put multiple flashes on here. Um, or you could even use the X1 on top of the D700 to control both of them. But this is just another way we can use the TT685 to control the system. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe.